What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another video. And if you ever needed evidence of why my collection room is completely out of space, we need to look no further than my Black Series Credit Collection collection. They take up a lot of space. <laughs> they take up a ton of space, but I've got a Black Series Credit Collection Heavy Infantry Mandalorian that's graded by CAS that I'm going to give away in this video. So stick around for that towards the end of the video. But in the interim, I wanted to show you guys the new Amazon exclusive Beskar Mandalorian credit collection that just came out here recently. And this is the only one from this second wave that came out this year uh, that I have, and most likely will be the only one. I, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna get any more of them just because they're so big, they, they take up so much room. But I fell in love with these because of the packaging. That's really the main reason. The, the colors are, are really off the wall. And the packaging is awesome. I mean, it's really, really incredible packaging. So, uh, you know, obviously these uh, were all store exclusives last year. The other ones I got behind you, and I'll show you the heavy infantry Mandalorian at the end. But uh, these were the rest of them in the wave. And don't quote me on which ones were which, but the I believe the IG-11 was a GameStop exclusive. The first issue Mandalorian was an Amazon exclusive. Obviously, we got this Amazon exclusive. Uh, Cara Dune on the far right was a Target exclusive, and I have no idea which one the Imperial Death Trooper was. I want to say it was an Amazon exclusive, but don't quote me on that. So let's take a look at my first issue uh, figures that are all graded. I got all of these graded for some crazy reason by Collector Archive Services. My favorite probably is this one. This is this is my favorite from the first wave, the IG-11. You know, basically what they did, what the idea was behind these and why Hasbro decided to do them is, is, yes, it's a lazy repaint, but I feel like they make up for it with the incredible packaging. And all they're really doing is taking the end credit scene, you know, stylized art renderings that were used for a lot of the characters. Uh, those had very interesting kind of uh, off the wall colors. You know, they're basically supposed to be like photo negatives or like, you know, artist artist render, renderings. And so all they did was they just painted uh, the figures that were already going to be released in normal packaging with these off the wall colors to match the artist renderings that showed up at the in the end credits on in, uh, in, in individual Mandalorian episodes. So that's why they call it the credit collection. And to reemphasize and to be as literal as possible, Hasbro also packed each figure with a credit, some kind of imperial credit. But the 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 IG Eleven is my favorite, in my opinion. It just it's got some really cool mold details, and the color choices really uh, really pop. And I've never shown any of these outside of the poly bags. I showed them when I first got them from Collector Archive a while ago. But you know this packaging is is why I bought them. And uh, the backs are even even better, in my opinion. They've got kind of like a faux weathered look to it, and you got the Mandalorian here along with IG eighty eight. And so basically, all they did was they take you know, they took this artist rendering and said, okay, let's paint them just like that. And so that's what it says here. The distinctive collection features premium deco applications inspired by the end credit images from the Mandalorian, plus a collectible Imperial credit accessory, hence the credit collection. So this one is graded IG-11 GameStop exclusive. Yes, yeah, so this one was the GameStop exclusive. And I got this one on e on eBay and the seller had a bunch of them and he, I said please send me your two best one for me and one for Chris W a buddy of mine and uh, Chris Chris has got a 95 and mine got the 90 plus even though I purchased both of them and sent him his so he's very lucky that his graded higher than mine and I think he even sold it recently so uh, so I should have I, I should have gotten 95 but somehow his got higher than mine. So I'm going to come back to the Mandalorian because we're going to look at uh, the Mandalorian outside of this figure shield case and compare it to the art deco of, of the original issue, the first issue. So let's skip over to the Imperial Death Trooper. And I, I believe this one was an Amazon exclusive. Let's see. Yeah, Amazon exclusive. So I was right on that one. So the two Amazon exclusives were the, were the Mandalorian and in this case, the Imperial Death Trooper. And this one was graded 85 plus. I think I got this one actually from Amazon, believe it or not. And it came in pretty good shape. Pretty cool, but, you know, the art on this one is not nearly as cool. The actual figure paint details are very cool. Though. We've got purples and golds, all kinds of interesting color choices there. And then here's the back of this one. It's got a, 
a larger view here. I would assume he's guarding Moff Gideon or something. So uh, wave two compromises the Mandalorian Beskar. It includes Quill, Moff Gideon, the Armorer, and I cannot remember the last... Oh, uh, uh Grief, Car uh, Grief Carga is the last one. And so they're doing the same setup where some of them are exclusives at Target and GameStop, Amazon, so forth and so on. I think this is the only one I might get. I might get the armor. I might get the armor because that, that one is, is pretty cool looking. And I've got a pretty good little mini armor collection going on now. Um, the Car Dune, I've already related the story to this. But for those of you who are new to the channel... I looked everywhere. I went to, Chris and I both wanted the Car Dune because at the time Car Dune was really hot. You know, she was, uh, this was pre all the crazy news that happened, I think. And it might have been after, I can't remember. Either way, uh, Car Dune was pretty hot. This was a Target exclusive. So I went to like three or four different Targets. Nobody had one. And so I finally flirted with one of the, the girls who, who worked at Target and she said, I've got two in the back. I'll go look. And I flirted with her, and she went and got them, and they ended up being in amazing condition. I mean, they were case fresh. And both of ours got high grades. His got a 90+, plus and mine got a 90+. plus. Mine got a 95, 90, 90 Target exclusive card in. Uh, the artwork on this one is probably, other than maybe IG-88, that, the actual card art is, is probably the best on card Dune. I would say it's probably the best of all of them. But, uh, and, the, and the paint deco is not bad either. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful figure beautiful mold um you know she's got that heavy machine gun and some other smaller weapons the card back is where it's at though i think this scene was when when we we first saw her fight or something there was like a fighting scene it feels like forever ago doesn't it when we, when car dune was in the show and and when we first met her and she was in some kind of arena you know battle scene in a in a, in a place so and they were kind of linked together until you knocked each other out or something i, I can't remember how it went but it feels like a lifetime ago that we saw this scene, but uh, but a very, very cool card back. Very, very cool. Now let's take a look at The Mandalorian. So here's The Mandalorian uh, first issue uh, that came out last year, uh, just this the Amazon exclusive. And this one I got a very, very high grade on. I believe I purchased this also from Bounty Hunters Guild. I cannot remember. Uh, but I think that this was also a Bounty Hunters Guild purchase. It came back with a 95 grade. So very, very happy with that. Uh, Amazon exclusive, 95, 90, 95 were the subscores. A beautiful card back. Very iconic. And I love that color scheme. I actually like the color scheme better on the, on this original Wave 1 version versus uh, the newer one. But we'll take a look at that in a second so you can take a look. But the actual card art, I love much more on the second on the second one that just came out but here he is with some off-world jawas pretty cool scene so very high grade that's the high luckily the, the the mandalorian got the highest grade out of all of them and so here's the new one again thank you to bounty hunters guild uh at bounty hunters guild on instagram i i don't like this color scheme as much and but i do love the the actual card art better um and i'll show you the back in a second where it really pops but the blues, it's got a lot of blues and purples, so it's its not bad. I mean, it's just, again, it's basically a repaint. And, you know, a lot of social media makes fun of makes makes fun of Hasbro for doing these. And uh, they're probably right to do so since they're essentially just repacking the same figure with different paint schemes. But look how awesome this card art is. So this is where he fires the Whirlybird kind of rockets that fire out multiple rockets. And I just love the way that looks. That just the back of that card really pops looks incredible i'm guessing this will get an 85 plus or a 90 that's that's my guess and hope but uh, these blisters are really really massive and so there's a lot of potential for damage with these it's very difficult to, to, to get these in high grade number one because of those blisters but also because you know they're being shipped by amazon and target and gamestop so there's some risk there that uh that they don't get handled properly and i'll show you an example of that in a second that i'm going to be giving away but um, th this is just a really nice combination. They look amazing. I mean, I'd say the front of the card back actually is probably better with this one. And I like the color scheme better than this one. But the back on this one is, is incredible. I just think it looks so cool with all those uh, miniature missiles shooting out and, and hitting the stormtroopers that surround them. So now let's take a look at the heavy infantry Mandalorian Best Buy exclusive. Last but not least, we have the heavy infantry Mandalorian. This was a Best Buy exclusive last year. This is a Gigantor 
figure. It is so big. <laughs> it's it's extremely heavy too. Um, this this figure is just gigantic, but it looks amazing on this card back, and it's very difficult to find this one clean. I, I just remember when these were first released last year, and people were starting to kind of list them on eBay and elsewhere. And every single one of them was beat up, and you can understand why, just given how big this this packaging is. But uh, I had kind of an adventure with this one. Uh, it was it was it was tough. I I bought one that I thought was extremely mint, and here it is right here. And so I sent it in to get graded by Collector Archive Services. And I don't know if this this one ended up having a crack in the blister right here. And I'm mean, like I said, th these figures are so heavy. I'm, I'm not, you know, I've, I saw lots of these where the figure pulled off the the blister, you know, the blister pulled off the card completely just because this figure was so heavy. So you know, again, I don't know if this crack was here before I even sent it in to CAS or if this got damaged in shipping to CAS. But somehow uh, I didn't notice it, and uh, or it, like I said, it got damaged, but. So this one was not very high grade, unfortunately. So this this is the one that I'm giving away right now on the channel. But you can see where it's labeled here. 2020 Hasbro Star Wars, the Mandalorian Credit Collection, Black Series 6-inch, Best Buy exclusive, Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. This will be the only 90, 70, 95 grade you will ever see. So <laughs> I remember speaking with somebody about this and they said, you should have just stepped on the blister really carefully and, and mangled that blister even worse. And it could have been like a 90, 30, 95. <laughs> but, but anyway, so, you know, I, I get this question a lot from folks. Well, how, how is this only a 70 when you got two subgrades that are 90 and 95? Well, the reason is, is because it's got a cracked blister. So it gave me a little bit of credit by going from a 70 to a 70 plus, but you can only go so high when one of the subgrades uh, is so badly affected. So this is this is that crack in the blister. So, you know, you can't get like an 85 for this because it's got a crack in the blister. So anyway, that's that's how that works. You know, it's it's not like it's an average of the three subscores. So not to get too off tangent there, but this is going to be a giveaway. So just like usual, you've got three requirements in order to be entered to win uh, this this item. I'm going to ship it anywhere in the world. And uh, it's it's you know, again, I know it's not super high grade, but there's somebody that out there that would like to have this in their collection. It presents obviously a lot better than a 70 plus overall because it's just that crack that caused the 70 plus. It's otherwise a beautiful item. I've never taken it out of the poly bag. Here's the back of this one, and we'll go back and look at my, my example in my collection here in a second. But uh, the card back is in very, very mint condition. It's got a beautiful, beautiful artwork there. It's got the statement of archival from CAS. Like I said, I've never removed this from the poly bag, but it's time to move this to somebody else uh for their collection so there's just three requirements as always just be a subscriber make sure you're a subscriber though because i've had several people win in the past when i do the comment picker and they weren't subscribers so they they got passed over so you have to be a subscriber uh, be sure to like this video with a thumbs up and comment below if you don't comment below then i can't uh you know the comment picker won't recognize you so you can say whatever you want to say in the comment but just make sure you leave a comment and um, uh, you'll be entered to win this automatically. And uh, like I said, anyone in the world is eligible. If you are a friend of the channel or if you are brand new to the channel, anyone is anyone is eligible. So it, it really does present a lot nicer than a 70 plus. Let, let me tell you that because I, I I spent so much time finding one that where the card back wasn't bent up and it was in really good shape. And then it ended up having a crack right there. <laughs> So it was pretty bad luck, but um, but anyway, so I got that one back and I was really bummed out about it And so I decided to make another effort for it and this one the card back wasn't nearly as good a shape as uh, As the other one was but the blister wasn't cracked So this is the one you know about six months later. I got this one back and uh, It's it's gorgeous. And so this one got an 85 the card got an 85 blister 85 figure 95 for an 86.9 so it almost got an 85 plus i'm okay with an 85 i'm for something this big that was just really really difficult to get uh in clean condition you can see the edge wear in that corner there so you know there, there's a lot of reasons why this one didn't get higher oh yeah this is the worst area right there there and right there so 
I'm sure that if I were really, you know, hyperactively OCD about it, I could probably find one even, you know, even cleaner than this. But this is perfectly satisfactory for my collection, and it really is an awesome, awesome item. It's it's kind of I give I give you know I know that these are these are repaints, okay? I know, I know that that you know it's a cash in so to speak, but I give Hasbro a lot of credit for taking the time to put together this awesome packaging, and that's the main reason to buy these credit collection items. They're just beautiful. They present so well. And, um, you know, they present, in my opinion, they present way better than the boxed Black Series. So, anyway, that's why I bought the, the latest Black Series Mandalorian for, from this year to kind of go with these. I, I don't think I'll get any of the others. Maybe the armor. Maybe the armor, like I said. But I just thought, given that I picked that one up from Bounty Hunters Guild, I wanted to show the rest of them in my collection and pull them out of the poly bags and show them. But this this figure is unbelievable. It's just an unbelievable figure. And the, the packaging is second to none. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at these Credit Collection Mandalorian figures. And to be entered to win this CAS graded Heavy Infantry Mandalorian Best Buy exclusive, just follow the rules as I've mentioned. Be a subscriber, like the video, and comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.